today let's try a problem on polynomials this is a very interesting problem that has a recursive definition so let me tell you what that is this problem is from b math isib math entrance 2009 this is problem number 13 objective so here is how the problem goes it's given that p n x is a polynomial is a polynomial and uh, it's defined like this p 0 x is equal to 1 p 1 x is equal to x and from p 2 x onward the definition is like this p n x is equal to x times pn minus 1x minus pn minus 2x so this is this is the definition this is the definition of the polynomial this is how the polynomial or sequence of polynomials is defined now our goal our goal is to find out p10 0 so the 10th polynomial in this sequence we want to find out what happens if we plug in 0 in that so just to play with it a little bit let me give you p2x let's see how that works so p2x we will use this definition p2x is x times p2 minus 1x minus p2 minus 2x so that means this is equal to x times p1x minus p0x but we already know that p1x is x and p0x is 1 so we get x times x minus 1 which is x squared minus 1 that is what p2x is so you can do a similar calculation for p3x i'm just doing it for fun maybe in some other problem this this deduction will be necessary so you can have a little practice you can do p3x on your own but i'll just write the first line it's x times p3 minus 1x minus p3 minus 2x so you have x times p2x minus p1x now you already know the value of p2 the expression for p2x it's x squared minus 1 so you plug that in here and you already know p1x because that's given as x so can you give the value or expression for p3x in the comment section give it a try and put that in the comment okay so let's come back to the problem we want to find out p10 of 0 now of course one thing we can do is continuously you know compute p3x p4x p5x like this if we go up to p10x and then plug x equal to 0 here then of course we will get the value that we want but that's a very long drawn method so we were not we're not going to use that we will observe something else so let's get back to this uh, expression one more time we have p n x is equal to x times p n minus 1 x plus uh, actually minus minus p n minus 2 x this is how the polynomials are defined so let's plug in x equal to 0 directly 
in this in this expression and let's see what happens so we get pn0 is equal to 0 times pn minus 1 0 minus pn minus 2 0 so this part of course becomes 0 0 times anything is 0 so pn minus pn0 is equal to negative pn minus 2 0 that's quite interesting because we know that p0x is 1 which means if I compute p0 of 0 that is also 1 that is if I plug in x equal to 0 here that will also give me 1 and we also know that p1 of 0 is 0 just plug in x equal to 0 here so x equal to 0 here so p1 of 0 is 0 so we know that so now let's come back here so we have p0 of 0 is equal to 1 p0 of 1 is equal to 0 now we can or uh, p1 of uh, p1 of 0 sorry p1 of 0 is equal to 0 now p2 of 0 will be negative we, we are using this one now we use our deduction p2 of 0 is negative p0 of 0 which is negative 1 and p3 of 0 is negative p1 of 0 which is negative 0 which is just 0 and then p4 of 0 is negative p2 of 0 which is 1 we are back at 1 again right so we have kind of a sequence so if i if i write the sequence it's like this p0 of 0 p1 of 0 p2 of 0 p3 of 0 p4 of 0 and like this we will go up to p10 of 0 now this one is 1 this one is 0 this one is negative 1 this one is 0 and then this one is again 1 so it sort of repeats from here you can check now with this pattern can you tell me what is p10 of 0 in the comment section it's very simple from here this video is created at chinta.com if you are interested in outstanding programs in math olympiad and isi cmi entrances and research projects feel free to contact us through the link in the description thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one